My name is Onyeda Kachuke, and I've been working on the Forever Museum archives since 2011. So it's basically like a body of work that I began in Libya, you know, right, I guess on the cuffs of Aber Spring. You know, myself, my mentor, who's an historian, arrived at Tripoli, started to spend time there on ancient Roman sites that were excavated mainly by Benito Mussolini during his conquest of Libya. But right next to these sites, these anthropological and geographical sites, were also museums, the idea of the site museum, which eventually then influenced my, uh, my making of the Forever Museum and creating these sites, you know, which you see here. And this particular iteration at Governor's Island responds to the islands of New York. You know, one of the ones that I worked in for a year was Rikers Island, where I conducted research. Another one that I have some relationship to would be Heart Island, where I have family that has been buried there. The church pews are, you know, numbered around like 17 of them. They came from a Quaker church. The relationship between this and the overall theme of the exhibition is the idea of like power, you know, symbols of power. So I place the objects in the space at various points not wanting to have a center and using the pews to sort of like stop the flow of the way that someone would naturally or usually navigate a museum space or an art institutional space. You know, I wanted to shift that. And much of this system as well kind of harkens back to, you know, modernist architecture and the idea of like moving people through and fro certain cityscapes. And then, of course, New York City, now we're talking Robert Moses, you know, design of the highways and, you know, the creating of the American ghetto. Okay, so this work is called The Seven Head of Hercules. Hercules have never been defeated, right? There's no record of, you know, artifacts, you know, that show this. So it's an edit, a very important edit, I think. It's a possibility. You know, the glass that you see here was collected in New York City, you know, after the lootings of 2020. And they came from sites of banks, right, which I felt was very interesting in that people would break the glass of the bank knowing that they could never get to the, to the vault, right, because it wasn't really about getting to the money, it's about frustration. Much of the stock system Right, it's something that I think about as being something that propagates and keeps the carceral system intact. Drugs are menacing our society. 37 federal agencies are working together in a vigorous national effort. And by next year, our spending for drug law enforcement will have more than tripled from its 1981 levels. This piece is called Three Actors. So the first actor that was of interest to me was Ronald Reagan who became the president of the United States. The second actor was his wife, Nancy Reagan. And no one is safe from it. So uh, very much interested in the mythology of like, theater and also a power, like having two people that study drama then delivering the address of the war on drugs. And then you have Ed Norton. You know, that's the scene that people would want to see in this, in this film, you know, American History X. But I made an edit frame by frame, removing the victim, thereby allowing just, you know, the actor, um, Ed Norton, to just step, you know, into the concrete, instead of like stepping on someone's head, right, which is what he would have been doing. Within the three actors' video space, you know, it's a large object that's made in the shape of a baggie, right, namely like a narcotics um, envelope. You know, that either carry crack cocaine or marijuana. You know, and then inside of his liquid, so as the videos are playing, you can read the reflection through this vacuum, which is this sealed up water, you know, that's, that then has a pump that circulates, right, dealing with the cyclical nature of the making of the product and also of the judiciary restraints, you know, or sometimes not just restraints, but also be something that opens up the distribution. You know, namely with the flooding of certain neighborhoods with crack cocaine from a governmental level. All the bubbles that are, that are created, you know, in the pool is from liquid soap that was produced by Core Craft Industry. So that is New York State's 
the name you know for the company that uses prison labor to make products. This piece being made in color is a relation to media, you know, with having Hermes being the god of messages and mixed messages, and the only one that could traverse between heaven, earth, and hell. My interest in this was related to the Derek Chauvin, you know, clip, right? And also related to, to St. Michael, relating to much of mythology of the idea of like stepping on this authority, you know, idea of, of, of subduing with defeat, you know, um, the weight, the crushing. This painting was first commissioned for a cathedral in Rome in 1615. So my particular interest came because the painting was then being taken out of commission to make space for a prison in the 1800s, you know, one of Rome's first prisons. I saw that, you know, felt that it was important to you know, acquire the painting, you know, have it be part of the archive and part of the exhibition. Eventually, I thought about it. I was like, you know what, what if we just turn it horizontally? Right, because one, it's an edit, you know, the same way in this project we have the severed head of Hercules, nor are Renaissance paintings looked at in ways that was not meant for the artists, you know, in ways that the artists did not conceive of or the church did not conceive of. So it becomes this other collage of a, of a sentence, of an essay. This work is a work of cut glass. Being able to look through a work into the cityscape, having Wall Street behind us, being able to deal with Christian Catholic iconography, thinking about the connection between the transatlantic slave trade and the Catholic Church, as we also consider the city that we're in, with much of you know Battery Park and Wall Street being seen through this point. And again, looking over the East River, which surrounds this space, Rikers Island, Hart Island, and a few other islands of New York.